Today on Tricro Studios, we take a look at the Dan Electro DJ20 Rocky Road Spinning Speaker. So looking at the knobs, the switches, and the toggle switch of this pedal, we have the drive knob, the speed knob, the ramp toggle switch, the ramp selection button, and the on and off button for this pedal. Now when you select the on and off button, you're going to get a very nice sounding modulated effect. So moving on now to the drive knob. With this knob, I highly, highly suggest in your starting position to turn this all the way down. Even with it all the way down, you're still getting a very large volume boost. And as you turn this knob, you get into some serious, serious clipping ranges as you can hear here. now to the speed knob. This is where you're going to adjust the maximum speed of the spinning effect. So last but not least, we have our ramp toggle switch, which allows you to select between two ramp speeds, either slow or fast. Now, once you click on the ramp button, you can ramp slowly up to this maximum speed or very quickly up to this maximum speed. And once you click it off, it will quickly or slowly ramp out back to the modulated signal that you heard before. So this concludes my review of the Dan Electro DJ20 Rocky Road Spinning Speaker. There is a huge community 
of haters and lovers of this pedal. It's almost 50-50 if you look at some of the reviews on this pedal and how people have talked about this on forums. I think the biggest reason why people do not like this pedal is definitely this drive knob. Now, even when it's turned off completely, when you select this pedal on, it already gives you quite a bit of a volume jump. And once you start turning this drive knob, that's when you're gonna get into almost instant clipping ranges. Another thing that people love and hate about this pedal is when you select this pedal on, you immediately get this uh, modulation chorus style of effect. I personally love that sound, and I think that it actually really shines when you do some fingerstyle picking. Really, really like it. I thought it sounded quite nice, and it doesn't sound like a chorus, but it sounds like a chorus. It's, it's kind of there, but not there, but I really like that sound. And the other thing that people kind of debate and argue about is some people say that it doesn't sound like a Leslie or other people say it sounds exactly like a Leslie or it sounds more like a vibrato, which people love and hate. So it's it's really 50-50. It's kind of one of those things you have to plug in and see if it just it fits for your needs. But it's definitely a great pedal, uh, especially if you mod this pedal to make it work better for you, unless you can kind of compensate for that volume boost. But this pedal is definitely worth plugging in. Uh, I think it's one of the hardest pedals besides the chicken salad to actually obtain. They're getting up there in price. These used to be really, really cheap. Now they're going for some pretty big bucks. So try to find this for a decent price and plug it in and see if it works for you. So I hope I've been able to help you distinguish if this is the pedal that's right for you or not. Please hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I hope to hear from you soon.